just before starting my today presentation, I would like to point out that in my presentation only include uh, some narrow down view uh, to the, some advanced R&D aspects uh, rather than delivering the overall view from the, uh, the including the, some standardization and uh, the commercialization. So uh, you would better to check the, some LG's uh, advanced R&D, which has uh, some collaborative relationship with a specific uh, global uh, partners. So um, I would like to, the, the, the other point is uh, I would like to uh, point out is that there's some, yes, we also have uh, some uh, collaboration with uh, some NI and KISSIDE. <laughs> but has uh, some different page. <laughs> so uh, we would, uh, unfortunately, uh, in this case, and uh, the, we only have uh, some specific research institute collaboration, we would have better chance to uh, introduce uh, some uh, the, the NI and key site in the next time. Yes, uh, in my presentation, uh, I would like to introduce the, some 6G advanced R&D collaboration with the Fraunhofer HHI as very famous and well-known uh, research institute uh, with uh, some global pain. And we mainly focus on the, some full duplex radio technology and uh, subterrace radio technology from late uh, year 2010s. So, uh, regarding the Fujiplex radio, uh, our collabor main collaboration uh, is now on the uh, establishment and the reading of a global uh, interest group alliance uh, and the relevant technology promotion. When it comes to the software art, we have uh, some research explore exploratory R&D project with uh, some uh, Proud of HHI in order to develop some um, uh, breakthrough front-end device and beamforming solution. And its relevant POC is a very, very active uh, R&D process. Just uh, before elaborating this, um, our collaboration activities, uh, we briefly introduced uh, some our company's technical vision and in this July time, our company announced that this, um, our future business vision as a some smart drive solution company in home and commercial office factory mobility and virtual space domain. In that sense, and uh, LG already have uh, some own, our own uh, future technical enabler uh, empowered by the 6G, uh, we have uh, some three point of uh, aspects and uh, hyper immersive media communication and connected AI everywhere and aerial 3D coverage support. All these kind of uh, techni technical enabler can contribute to some our company's future business development. So in that sense, and we also have uh, some, uh, in our company, 6G is still one of the key future uh, keyword to, in order to make an effort on the some R&D to the standardization and commercialization. Yes, uh, we briefly uh, introduced uh, some our focused 6G enabling technology and uh, roadmap. Uh, in there, there's some, our um, most of our individual technologies uh, pretty much uh, match well with uh, some our morning time and morning time presentation. So, uh, in the sense, and uh, some uh, the not only the radio technology and the, but also the some network architecture and the solution, we're gonna have uh, some uh, brand new aspects. We are really strive for. Uh, also, we also have uh, some actually under the basis of uh, internal 
consensus uh, for the um, 6G as uh, some our uh, future mobile connectivity solution. We launched the, some main advanced R&D from the some year 2019. So at this moment, we have uh, some very tangible outcomes from the, our advanced R&D and uh, looking forward to uh, enabling the, some our future solution development as well as uh, some our uh, radio technology evolution uh, in the standardization body. The first introducing this um, collaboration item is a full duplex radio. A full duplex radio means that this, a set of uh, technology, uh, te technology for the some um, in device and uh, network side interference cancellation and mitigation, uh, in order to realizing the some um, duplexing flexibility. Uh, originally, we started some fundamental research from the, around the some year 2015, very long story of advanced R&D. And recently, and at the pre, premature stage of uh, some ad advanced duplexing uh, technique is uh, started to introduce in the standardization body. And uh, the, around the initial phase of from the some year 2015 to the uh, 17, we really focus on the some fundamental uh, feasibility proving on the basis on the hardware or POC platform. Uh, as a next, we start some global uh, R&D partnership with the some uh, in order to explore the some use case and the some transceiver architecture reference and. We're going to have some started with the problem of HHI for such a, uh, a global interest group activities. And also, we also started with uh, some uh, global partnership uh, platform development and uh, test uh, campaign. And we actually, the two times of uh, such a uh, the global partnership campaign, so it's going to be uh, some paralyzing with uh, some, as uh, some technical promotion activities. And also simultaneously, VRG is uh, started to propose uh, some study item uh, regarding the full duplex or advanced duplexing from the release 16 timeframe. Uh, some let me, let me uh, elaborate uh, some overview of a uh, uh, full duplex radio interest group activities. It is uh, uh, kicked off in the December time in the year 2017 with uh, some around uh, 10 members of a uh, global research institute and uh, industry companies. And uh, such a uh, some interest group is uh, organized by the um, one plenary group on top of the three working groups of uh, technology uh, development and the use case and the deployment scenario exploration. And the final working group is uh, standardization and regulation aspects. The main representative outcomes from the such a FDRIG activities is that some technical report on the transceiver architecture and the uh, application and deployment, deployment scenarios. We uh, initially, we can make uh, some such a two technical report at the end of uh, uh, the year 2018. And it has uh, several times revised uh, from the some FDRIG. And as a result, such output is uh, made uh, some significant con contribution on the, some our internal research and development aspects. So first one is uh, we developed uh, some transceiver solution uh, with uh, some in total 60 dB uh, self-interference cancellation uh, solution in analog domain in condition of uh, some TXRX 
shared physical antenna configuration, and the, the bandwidth is uh, maximally reached to the 200 megahertz at the time. Uh, the other aspects is uh, partnership-based platform development and test demo. Uh, such a FDRIG is driven deployment and uh, application scenario is applied to the such a uh, test demo scenario. So it could be some uh, mainly uh, contribute with uh, some our tangible uh, activities on the such a uh, the demo to promote uh, some such uh, this full duplex radio technologies. Yes, <laughs> today's morning time. Um, software is, as I so frequently received uh, some non-positive opinion uh, from the many of uh, various types of uh, guys, but still, uh, in my sense, and um, I just now have a uh, small advanced R and D uh, is has to include uh, some full cycle of uh, full life cycle of six uh, G domain. So in this sense, and we still have uh, some uh, the potential of software to provide uh, some uh, sufficient level of high high data rate support uh, in order to enable the, some hyper immersive media communication. Uh, in this sense, and the sense, the the peak data rate is aimed for the such a hyper immersive multimedia communication is uh, reached to the some few hundred gigahertz BPS and uh, normal situation and user experience guaranteed data rate is around the so few gigahertz BPS. I'm not pretty sure that some, some current upper mid band can support uh, such a uh, bunch of uh, data rate at this moment. Uh, today's um, so many times uh, upper mid band is uh, mentioned but still have uh, some spectrum details are uh, very complicated, not a clear slate situation. So uh, the, currently the, the, the uh, Korean consensus is to provide the, the up to the 500 megahertz for the 60 primary carrier from the upper mid band, but it is not, not very easy situation. Uh, also considering the system in three Korean operators later, and I'm not, it is uh, definitely not possible to acquire the some in total 1.5 gigahertz consecutive frequency band in the, the upper mid band situation. So also we have uh, some wider bandwidth radio pipe provisioning is uh, the other potential in some specific situation. Uh, in Korea, in uh, some not positive situation on the higher frequency uh, commercialization, but still we also have uh, some different thing regarding in terms of uh, some spectrum allocation aspects. And for example, the some on-demand spectrum License spectrum allocation according to the service and locations, uh, it would be a very similar to the some private 5G spectrum allocation manner. Uh, it could be uh, very suitable for the some higher frequency spectrum allocation behavior. So we hopefully we can do the some such a uh, domestic uh, discussion regarding the new types of uh, spectrum allocation uh, is uh, uh, in conjunction with uh, some precise 6 spectrum or uh, freezing situation. Yeah. And now the, the, in there, there's some advanced R&D for the software radio. We also have uh, some very great, uh, nice R&D collaboration with the Brown Opal. In there, the, so we really focus on the some, uh, hardware front-end device and the module development and its own POC. And uh, we still have uh, some phased approach of uh, some front-end development, uh, which is aligned with uh, some Prana by HHI. 
The first step is uh, really focusing on the PAMMIC development. It is uh, overcome the some terrorist gap dilemma. Uh, but in the, the move to the some second stage, on the, the whole of uh, MMIC and the modular uh, development on the TX and both TX and the RX side, uh, which can be mainly uh, the applicable in the IC design aspects. In the, the currently, for today, we have a third stage, and then the, as I shown in the, some other uh, uh, presentation, and then the multi-beam generation is really uh, mentioned in the today's presentation. And yes, we also have uh, some sub-array wise multi-beam generation in software arts can be uh, some potential approach. Uh, so it could be fully supported by the, the third stage development aspects. At the yearly, we have uh, some promote some our development uh, on the some advanced R&D project with the crown of HHI. Um, I just now have a short um, movie play to elaborate this um, our outdoor OTA test demo, which was accomplished in the, some, uh, the September this year in the uh, here LG Science Park. So please check with this um, movie play. Yep, in the, it could be uh, some accomplished by the co test with the uh, LGU Plus. And we have uh, some various types of uh, roof to roof test and the roof to ground and ground to ground test. Just now, we have uh, such uh, some front end module is developed by uh, with uh, some the collaborative R&D project with the Prana HHI. In there, there's some um, uh, the, the very small, tiny stops of substrate level informing so module is uh, developed, and then the core MMIC is uh, wholly uh, developed and uh, applied on the, some such uh, front-end package. And then the drastically, the, the, uh, each by each uh, MMIC devices, uh, performance is uh, reached to the some global uh, top level performance in the, the, the the, the output power and the noise figure and the insertion loss perspective. It is uh, somewhat overall front end package size is uh, three by five centimeters size. And, the, the, and there's some such a roof to roof scenario is uh, we really try to strive for uh, the rich, the some extended LOS communication uh, distance, and then the, the, we can accomplish the some 16 pump test over the some one 500 meter test. And then the, uh, we also have some follow the test with the route to ground, and the maximally uh, the communication distance of 420 meter, we can have uh, achieved the some 64 pump. Uh, demodulation, uh, you can easily check the some distance in the outside building. And one interesting point is uh, we also observed the some ground to ground test. We uh, observed that the some human body, far field human body impact can be limited into the some 3 dB uh, by applying the some beam broadening solution. So it was a very insightful result, and then the, we can have uh, some such a uh, uh, future R&D aspects and the blockage avoidance situation. That's all for my presentation, and uh, I can pass the, my mic to the, our collaboration partner, Prana Thank you.